welcome to this particular experimental class. In this class, we will show you one particular sensor which is called infrared sensor. Uh, it is also called IR sensor and uh, here we will be showing the, uh, the actual application of IR sensor by looking at the distance that it can measure and which properties on which kind of surfaces it will not be useful. For example, if you take a black surface whether you can use IR sensor or not. If I, if I uh, the, the in the experimental class you will see that when, uh, when the uh, student is moving his hand the va variation will be changing depending on the what is the distance between the uh, source and the uh, reflection boundary. And uh, like I said, we will also show you uh, if you change the kind of material, the reflection property would change. Right? So, enjoy this lab class. I will see you in the next module. Bye. Uh, now, we are going to de um, discuss about a IR based distance sensor. So, this is uh, another sensor that we have got here. Uh, we will be discussing about this now. Okay. So, uh, you can see on the right hand side, I will be showing the working principle of it. Okay. So, what happens is you can see two LEDs over here one coated with black and another one over here that is transparent white. Okay. So, this is a uh, cup um, together forms the transmitter and the receiver. So, you can see the IR sensor working over here that the white one is the transmitter and the black one is the IR receiver. So, what happens is you know that the light undergoes a derivative of reflection right. So, when the transmitter uh, uh, sends the IR signal, if an ob object is there to reflect it, it will come back to the receiver. So, based on the uh, this reflection, the receiver will get this uh, IR light back and it will sense it. That is what happens in this sensor. So, uh, you can see that the object is very critical here. If the object is not here, it is this light ray is going to uh, go to infinity and no reflection will happen. But at the same time, if the object moves towards it, then the receiver will detect some uh, reflection and will uh, detect that the IR is bouncing back or an obstacle or object is close to it. And another main property of the object here should be that it has to be white or it should have uh, it should be some reflecting surface ok. So, a white surface will reflect the light that is coming to it. So, a white object will reflect the light at the same time if we are keeping a black body or a perfect black object over here then the light ray coming from here or the IR rays coming from here will not reflect back to the receiver. I will be demonstrating both of these examples. So, this is about the uh, working principle of the IR. Okay. So, you can see a trimmer over here this is to adjust the range uh, at which we should detect. So, uh, this sensor module here this is a working principle, but this is the sensor module or the commercial sensor we have got to show you the working demo. Okay. It has a differential comparator on board. So, LM393. So, what happens is uh, when the re uh, receiver detects the reflected uh, light it will measure its intensity and based on this intensity a comparing is done with the threshold that we have set using the trimmer. Okay. So, based on this value a digital output will be given out as either high or low. So, this is it. So, this sensor module can either work in a high level mode or a low level mode or active mode or passive mode. So, in the active mode what happens is that uh, when there is no reflection you will be getting a high output and in passive mode when you get reflection only you will be uh, receiving a high output. So, okay. This can be used for different applications. So, uh, it can be used for some uh, intruder detection that is like if a person walks into your house without uh, your knowledge uh, if that person cuts the uh, transmitted light over here uh, then uh, it will make a noise or we can trigger a buzzer or something. Okay. Similarly, for you must have seen the obstacle avoider robots and other things, it will have a sensor like this on board. So, if it moves towards a wall or another obstacle, the light will be reflected and based on which the robot will be under, uh, understanding that there is an obstacle ahead and it can change its course. Okay. So, uh, there is a uh, maximum detection angle that is 35 degree beyond which it cannot detect. Okay. That is it. So, I will be showing you the working of it. You can see here 
the uh, sensor I have talked about okay so this is it this is the trimmer that I showed you to adjust the uh, threshold and this is the receiver uh, LED and this is the uh, transmitter and here you have the LM393 differential comparator okay and you can see a three pinout that is one is output digital value and one is ground and one is VCC so this is the LED we have to show that it's working okay so this is the sensor and I have connected to the Arduino DU and a buzzer also I will be explaining the pins and other things on the code so in the Arduino code you can see that I have defined the sensor pin as 3 that means the digital output of the IR sensor have been connected to the pin number 3 and the buzzer is connected to pin number 22 and in the setup I have defined the buzzer pin as output that means the buzzer is going to give an output that is the sound beep sound and the sensor pin is the input and I have defined it because the sensor pin is connected to a digital input pin that is pin number 3 okay in the void loop I have set the uh, an integer sensor value is equal to digital read of sensor pin because we are taking a digital value input from the sensor pin that is pin number 3 and uh, you might be thinking that why I have kept integer and what is the value that is going to be stored in the sensor value so uh, it's a digital read operation that means it can only have two states either high or low so what value gets stored in sensor value is corresponding to high the sensor value will store one and according corresponding to sensor value uh, sensor value low it means the sensor uh, the integer sensor value will be storing the value zero okay so corresponding to low the value stored here will be zero and corresponding to the digital read of a high value we will be storing here one and instead of integer you can use boolean operation also bool okay so I, uh, I have used integer already here and you can see that uh, I have used the if function so if sensor value equal to equal to high then digital write buzzer pin comma low because I already told you that this sensor is um, active uh, actively uh, low that means that uh, by default uh, uh, this sensor uh, if it detects nothing it will be high only so uh, it uh, if it's not detecting anything we need not have the need the buzzer to make any sound so I did it like that so it is by active that means uh, it's uh, if it detects nothing it will be giving a high output so I have defined the buzzer pin as low and otherwise that means the, if the sensor value is low then I am turning the buzzer pin high okay so I have uploaded the code to the Arduino DU so you can see here okay I am just showing my hand over here you can see that a light is blinking that means it's detecting something and at the same time the buzzer is making the sound okay so this is what now this is the distance at which it is sensing it so I can just adjust a potentiometer of the trimmer so when I reduce the value too low it is making the sound because we have adjusted it to a very low value if I increase the range it's not detecting at all it went too high so it, you have to adjust it to a uh, intermediate value for it to detect see I have reduced the value now okay initially it was somewhere here okay and one more uh, example I have to show is I told you the color of the object also is uh, important so I have a uh, black phone over here okay the surface is black now if I show here it's not detecting because the black surface is not reflecting the green gloves I am using is still reflecting and the white here surface here also is reflecting but the mobile phone which is black is not reflecting okay so this shows that uh, the IR can only uh, be used when it comes to a obstacle or an object that is white or have a reflecting surface okay so this is about the uh, IR sensor